Hello, my name is Andy and I am the Village Idiot. I'm armed with a car and a GoPro and an unhealthy amount of time on my hands. I'm using that time to attempt to visit every civil parish in England. You're watching the East Riding of Yorkshire series. Together with the unparished city of Hull, it forms the county of the same name. There's 172 parishes here. Which one are we in today? Welcome back to the East Riding of Yorkshire, everybody. Now, I was hoping to end today with some lovely sea views, but as you can see, I'm surrounded by mist. Look at this, you can't even see the sea. This started rolling in off the sea as I was leaving Hatfield in uh, last week's episode, and it's stuck around. And unfortunately, you can't see the sea very well. Maybe at the end of this episode, it might have cleared up a little bit and we'll get down to the beach and end it in a nice way down there. I'm parked in a free car park. It's quite busy. It's the height of summer, let's be honest. People do like the, uh, the seaside, don't they, at this time of year? You'll find this in the parish of Mappleton. Here's my disclaimer for people who may be watching me for the first time. I say things as I would in my native accent and dialect. As a result, I may not pronounce things in the same way as the locals do. Remember, I'm a visitor. It's impossible to know everything. Leave me a comment, spin me a like and bash that subscribe button. Let's get to today's parish video. Welcome back to the East Yorkshire coast, folks. This is the parish of Mappleton, which sits three miles to the south of Hornsey. As well as the main village, the parish includes the hamlets of Rolston and Cowden, and it all overlooks the North Sea on the fastest eroding cliff in the whole of Europe. In 1991, sea defences were built here in order to protect the village and the B1242, which is the main road through it. Before that, intense sea erosion had threatened to swallow up not just the cliff, but also the village itself. Although it's still eroding away, it's now slowed to a point where it's no longer a threat to the settlement. The success of the project created a larger, higher, sandy beach. Locals and tourists alike can now enjoy the fabulous Mappleton Beach, a popular local attraction at the bottom of a cliff, which has a free car park at the top. You do have to have your wits about you on Mappleton Beach. Coastal erosion often reveals lots of explosive material, thanks to a former RAF bombing range located down the coast at Cowden. As well as the beach, the village itself offers a lot for such a small place. Here you can enjoy the old post office tea rooms and the fabulous Grade 2 listed church. Mappleton is also one of the best places to visit to see some of the UK's coastal wartime defences. So get your speedos on, it's time for a paddle in the North Sea. We begin this venture around one of the East Riding's most popular seaside villages on Mappleton Cliff overlooking the sea. We're in a car park on the cliff top which is not very big but it's free. It also has this handy block of public toilets. I was hoping for some good sea views at this point but the weather had other ideas. This mist is what's known as sea fret. Sea fret occurs most often on the east coast between April and September when warm air passes over the cold North Sea. Because of the sea fret, I opted to change my route and walk away from the beach and explore the rest of the village first. This is Cliff Lane, a street whose name does exactly what it says on the tin. Down here, there's an old post office. 
No longer a post office, this is now a popular tea room. It's dog friendly too, and offers sandwiches, jacket potatoes and cakes. At the end of the road is the parish notice board. Mark off Mappleton, the east riding now has less than 50 to go. Well, I have to say with the amount of traffic in the car park and coming down to the car park, this is a very popular place here on the East Yorkshire coast. But obviously the mist has uh, deterred a few people as a few cars been leaving since I've been uh, filming, <laughs> started filming this video. So maybe if the mist lingers a bit longer, a lot of them will disappear and maybe I can have the view to myself. That's a bit selfish, isn't it? But you know, <laughs> I love the sea. I love the sea, what can I say? Right, okay, our next job is to go across to the church, which is literally just there. Let's head across and have a look. Grade 2 listed with a tall spire disappearing into the mist, this is All Saints Church, one of the finest on the East Yorkshire coast. It's essentially a Victorian church, and that striking steeple has a story. It's built of stone salvaged from a shipwreck. The ship, which ran aground here in 1854, was carrying a load of Tadcaster stone. At the time, the church had no roof. The opportunistic locals seized the bounty of the sea and completed the roof and spire with the stone flotsam. Out onto Cliff Lane again, the part on the other side of the main road, and here's the vicarage, typically not far away. There's a short row of houses called Church Mount off this too. Also on this side of Cliff Lane, there's an old red phone box. Unfortunately, this one is empty and it's seen better days. Let's head up the B1242 now towards Hornsey. So the church and the beach access, basically everything I've shown you so far, is at the southern end of Mappleton. So the, the rest of the walk will just basically be a walk north until civilization stops. On the way, there's a few more things to catch, including one of these things, a winter services weather station. We haven't seen one of these since we were in Asselby a long, long time ago. Opposite this, there's also what appears to be a building which no longer stands. Something there has been demolished. I wonder what? On this corner, there used to be a massive garage. It was called Maple Garage, and it's only recently been demolished. As you've already seen, parking for the beach is an issue. The owner of this site wants to turn this into a second private car park. You could always use the bus to get here though. Mappleton is served by the 129, which connects Hornsey to Withensea. The majority of Mappleton is mostly laid out along this one main road. Apart from Cliff Lane, it's a ribbon-like settlement. Due to coastal erosion, this road and Mappleton in general are a lot closer to the sea now than they used to be. A seaside resort now maybe, but Mappleton was historically a farming community. There's still some farming activity here now. Here's Middle Farm, which sells eggs and possibly tomato plants too, based on a picture I found from a few years back. Mappleton doesn't have a pub or a shop, unless you count the tea rooms. There was, though, a school at one time. There was also once a Wesleyan chapel. Built in 1890, it still stands, and eventually this became the village hall, which is now closed. Just beyond that is a private nursery called Farmyard Friends, its name perhaps a nod to Mappleton's agricultural past. Opened in 2007, it cares for children up to 8 years of age, 51 weeks a year, only closing for Christmas and bank holidays. Now opposite the nursery, there's a field between you and the sea, and in that field there's one of the World War II defences, sea defences, coastal defences, a pillbox right there. I think this is the first time I've ever been able to see one of these things up close. I can't get any closer than this because the field is obviously private land. If there was a way to go there, you know damn well I'd be in the field and I'd be right up next to it. But you can see it quite clearly from the road. That is fantastic. 
Now this mist appears to be lifting very slightly. So I'm gonna amble my way back to the car park and go down onto the beach. And hopefully by the time I get there, the sun will be out again, the mist will have gone and we'll have a nice view of the North Sea. Here we are then back on the cliff top and as you can see the sea fret was still here but it was lifting slowly. It's still a good view. Let's head down to the beach. Here's a sign which warns you of some of its dangers. Most of these are normal for a UK beach. However, Mappleton Beach also often has unexploded ordnance on it thanks to a former RAF bombing range at nearby Cowden. In 1991, sea defences were built here to slow down cliff erosion. They were eroding at a rate of between 8 and 11 yards annually. The £2 million project created two large rock groins to break up the waves and trap materials carried during longshore drift. Mappleton Beach is now one of the most popular in the East Riding. Despite the sea fret on my visit, this was still heaving. Down here you can see the soft boulder clay cliffs which have been eroding away. When the tide is in it comes right up to these. So the mist hasn't fully lifted but you can still stand here and appreciate the sound of the waves lapping against the shore. I know Nicky loves that and you know what? I've grown to like it too. Have a listen just for a few seconds. Isn't it wonderful? So now all I've got to do is walk back up the hill again, up the cliff to the top and find the car and we shall move on. Now, as well as Mappleton Village, there's a couple of other settlements which are within Mappleton's parish boundaries. One of them is called Rolston and I was supposed to start this video in Rolston, but like a true village idiot, I missed the turning. So that is going to be the subject of today's special section and we're going to end this video by driving through one of the other hamlets. Oh, this hill's steep. To the north of Mappleton there's a small village called Rolston. It used to be called Ralston, spelt with a W between the O and the L. It's not famed for much but it does have some military history. Rolston was the site of a rifle range and an army camp. The rifle range was built on land leased from Rolston Hall, the building that's on your screens now. It was known as the Rolston Rifle Range and was opened by the Mayoress of Hull in 1907. It was for use by militia, volunteers and yeomanry. On the 21st of June 1915, children from Mappleton School travelled to Rolston to see troops march to Hornsea train station, departing for France. In 1920, the sale of the Rolston estate took place after the sudden death of Major Howarth Booth. More than 1,500 acres were sold, including Rolston Hall and the Rifle Range. Hull Rifle Club used the range until 1971, when dwindling membership resulted in it being mothballed. It reformed in 1991 and is now based in York at Strensel. To finish with, we're taking a drive through Cowden just to Mappleton South. Between 1959 and 1998, the RAF operated a 600-acre bombing range here which was closed due to coastal erosion. Mappleton Beach regularly reveals its buried ordnance as a result. These days, Cowden is more about tourism. On Eelmere Lane, in an area also known as Great Cowden, there's a huge caravan park for all the holidaymakers. It can also boast a pub, the only one in Mappleton Parish. Here it is, this is the Cross Keys, right on the end of Eelmere Lane. As well as Great Cowden, there's also a Little Cowden. It once had its own church, but thanks to coastal erosion, it's now been lost to the sea. As a result, Little Cowden Parish was amalgamated with Mappleton. And speaking of Mappleton, that's it for the whole parish. That's easily been one of the most enjoyable so far, and a very uniquely historic one too. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have, and I'll see you next time.
thanks for watching this video, folks. Don't forget to like this episode if you haven't already. It really makes a difference with YouTube. If you're new here, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this, and give us a share too if you've got friends who'd like it. You can find all the links to my social media accounts below, as well as my Buy Me A Coffee page where you can donate to the channel. Also, if you've enjoyed this episode, have a look at some more videos in this series. Until next time, I've been Andy, also known as The Village Idiot, and I'm out.